What's up guys? In this video, we're gonna take a look at Cast King's newest fishing rod, the Asage rod. And this is their newest addition to their lineup of rods. And I tell you guys what, they are amazing. They just sent me this one because they know how much I love power fishing and fishing with big lures and big baits. This right here is the Asage Heavy Fast Action 7.5 Flipping Out Rod. I've got some 50 pound braid on here and I've got a nice sized jackhammer chatter bait. And you know what? This is gonna be the perfect setup to throw around this bait. I was in for a surprise when this rod showed up. Take a look at this guys. We got carbon fiber right here on the butt of the rod. We've got more carbon fiber right up here in front of the reel seat. It is beautiful feeling, very smooth to the touch. And I really like how on the butt of the rod right here, you guys can see Cast King's logo. It's another nice little touch they've got added on here. Then also right here, we've got cork which is something they haven't really done on a lot of their rod models. And I am very happy with it. It's a very, very welcome addition to their rods. I don't know if any of Cast King's rods have cork on them. At least none of the ones that I've used have cork on them. And I like it so far. I like cork rods. My Mojo Bass is cork. And this one is right up there with my Mojo Bass in the price range. These Asage rods range from, I believe, $139.99 to $169.99. And that is going to be the heavier versions up in that higher price range. Like this one, the Heavy Fast Action 7.5 Flipping Out Rod. This one was $169.99, I believe. But Cast King sent me this one, so that way, I can go and catch some monster fish with it. But this rod is beautiful, all the way from the butt of the rod, up into the reel seat, and up into the actual line guides too. Just look at that. I'm very happy with this rod so far. And if you guys end up grabbing one of them for yourselves, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you end up grabbing one of these rods. And I'll make sure to drop links down in the description, and I'll pin one down in the comments too if you wanna go and get some more details on these rods. Another cool thing about the Asage series is they are technique specific. So like I said, this one's the flipping out rod and this is a heavy rod. They've got so many different variations for different techniques you wanna go fishing. I'm not sure what the other ones are because this is the one I saw and this is the one that really caught my attention because I love power fishing and I love fishing with big lures and big baits. But as you guys can probably see, we're down here at the railroad bridge and I'm hoping maybe we can test this thing out and maybe catch some fish. I mean, there's never any guarantees. We might not catch anything at all, but you know what, that's okay. I'm just giving you guys my honest thoughts on this rod and my first impressions. I went fishing with it one time so far and it performed great. I didn't catch any fish with it, but it's nice to cast around. It's very lightweight, especially for a heavy rod and having my Curado DC on there, it feels really good on this rod. I'm still out here on the river and I'm not really planning on catching any fish. We're still just testing out this rod and so far I'm very happy with it. So now that we've tested out the rod and we've spent a good amount of time with it, let's talk about the build quality. So far the build quality is really good. My one and only little gripe with this rod would probably be this right here, the hook keeper. I really wish that this hook keeper here actually completely connected and was one piece, but it's one of those hook keepers you can like slide your line underneath, which I mean, I guess that can be convenient. I usually just like to take my hook, stick it right through the hook keeper and tighten it down. That's probably the only real thing about this rod that actually irks me. I mean, it's not a big deal whatsoever. It's definitely a better hook keeper than what they had on the Perigee 2 rods, which once again, is still a good hook keeper. I'm just not a big fan of it personally, but this rod is built fantastically. I mean, I really love the carbon fiber and I really like how you actually tighten this part down here. Some other rods that actually have cork right here, they get stuck and they get really hard to actually grab onto and loosen off of your reel. But this one right here is really nice. It's very easy to grip onto, very easy to take off. If you really want to tighten it down and make sure your reel is on there good, you can do that because you're gonna be able to get a good grip to get that off. 
but some of my other rods, not so much. I also really like how they have all the specifications right here, right above the name of the rod. It's very easy to read. And then also the actual guides on the rod are supposedly anti-tangle, so your fishing line isn't gonna get tangled up while you're casting, which is always a welcome addition. Nobody likes to get their fishing line tangled up when they're out fishing. Trust me, it's a pain in the... I'm really hoping we can find some fish here, whether that's musky, pike, smallies. I mean, there's usually tons of fish hanging out here. And the water is usually all the way up to the top of that metal piece right there at the bottom of the bridge pylon. So, you know, the water on the river is just extremely low today, guys. I mean, it's too low to fish, honestly. I haven't had any good luck lately, but you know what? I keep trying. There could still be fish hanging out down here, especially since this is one of the deeper areas on the river. This rod fits great in my hand, which is another reason why I love it. And also, if you really want to palm your reel, it's perfectly set up for that. See, that little trigger right there is right in between my pinky finger or ring finger, whatever you want to call it. But it feels great in the hand. It's very lightweight, especially for a heavy rod. I mean, like I could even like cast it very flawlessly. And I think this is gonna be one of my main rods right here to use, especially when it comes to those larger baits, power fishing techniques, you name it. This is gonna be the rod. And you know what? I bet it feels even better to catch a fish. And once I do catch some fish with this thing, I tell you guys what, I'm gonna be flipping them fish into the boat and I'm gonna be flipping them onto the shore. So if you guys are looking for a new fishing rod for bass fishing, pike, musky, pretty much any fish, they've got a technique and a rod for your situation. Like I said, I went with a heavy fast action 7.5 flipping out rod because that is the one that I needed the most, especially since I love power fishing and fishing with big lures and big baits this is gonna be the rod for me. If you go and check them out through the links in my description or pinned down in the comments, you guys will find a variation for your technique. But now let's go over my final thoughts about this Asage fishing rod by Cast King. It's a great rod. This is probably gonna be one of my most used and favorite rods I have in my actual rod selection. My other favorite rod is my St. Croix Mojo Bass and this thing is right up there with it. It feels great and I'm really excited to get out on the water and actually catch some fish with it. If I had to give it a rating right now, I would definitely give this thing five out of five stars. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you aren't already subscribed, consider subscribing. And let me know what you guys think about the Asage fishing rod down in the comments because I would love to hear your guys' opinions. Whether you guys are planning on getting one or you already have one, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this fishing rod. But so far, I like it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.